Well, she's headed from Cheyenne to Maine And she's only in Chicago for a day So I'm gonna make the most of playing host I've always got tomorrow to cry One, two, three, four. I offer a shower and wine She says, I'm good like this Cold beer would be fine Hi, we're Cobalt and the Hired Guns. Hi. Hi. Are you waving back? Yeah, there. Thank you. You and I both know why you came here again. November of 2003. We got together. Oh, we really did. <clears throat> it's a long time. We were all in college um, in Ohio. And we spent, we played a lot of shows there. We did, we did some, put some albums out. We did our college band thing. We went on tour a few times. And then. Um, in a minivan. In a minivan. Name is Sea Biscuit. It's purple. It's still here, actually. It's still with us today. It's lovely. It's hanging on. Um, it's hanging on. Being from here and, and knowing the area had a lot to do with it. I also love Chicago. It's like, it, it's in my bones. And so. It really is. I look. Like, no place else will ever feel like home in the way that this feels like home. But also, I, I played in bands when I was, like, growing up and in high school. And so I had a certain certain familiarity with the landscape and the lay of the land and uh, kind of how I wanted us to get our start um, and, and that was nice and also there was a bit of a built-in fan base it was like you know there were people who had come to see us perform here and people who knew who the band was and so and I said slow down wait a minute Pittsburgh, DC, Baltimore, Philly, New York, Beijing, Dude. Uh, Sa um, what? We went to Beijing. New no. Jersey a bunch of times. <laughs> a lot of times. We played we in New to, Jersey a lot. Went up to Boston and, <clears throat> and then came back. Then we also did like a kind of Midwest Southern thing down Atlanta and Raleigh, or sorry, Durham and uh, Nashville. Na yeah, Nashville. We go, City. yeah, as far west as Kansas City, played in Des Moines, St. Louis, Champaign-Urbana. We've done some regional stuff like Milwaukee, Madison, Rockford, Galesburg. Empty bottle. Also true. <laughs> That's west of here. It's <laughs> on the west <laughs> playing in punk rock bands and sort of like alternative rock and kind of poppy rock you know I, I don't want to say like power pop but uh, certainly you know those those sorts of genres and listening to a lot of that music and a lot of classic rock and 
we've all come from not entirely dissimilar, but eclectic backgrounds, and kind of each specializes in a kind of different area or genre, and that has affected our writing a lot, particularly with arranging the songs. When somebody comes in with a new song, uh, they tend to change pretty drastically from the time that we write them and the time that we bring them in to the first time we play them on stage, and then they probably change two or three more times before we actually go into the studio to record them. There's a long process of kind of editing and, you know, being re really critical with that work. Part of, it's like, part of me is, um, I really like um, the Pixies a lot, and I like their, um, like I said before, like kind of the rawness they put in to recordings and to the, the, the energy is sort of like, I, it's like very emotional, and it's kind of dirty, and it's kind of like, it almost borders on like, this is unpleasant to listen to. Um, <laughs> No, but I think that's like really cool because I can, you know, I can feel that and I feel that um, intention of theirs and I think that's really cool and like that part of me with the other part of like, I really like sleek crafted like pop punk songs and like really emotional, um, like sad songs that sound like they're happy songs. I'm really into dudes named Paul right now. <laughs> um, Paul McCartney, Paul Simon, Paul Bunyan. Um, but, and the thing that I admire about all three of them is that they really can pinpoint the strengths and weaknesses in, of their voices and really just like laser vision in on exactly what it is they want to achieve with their song and their voice and nail it, at least on their recordings. and. Uh, so for me, that's kind of like what I am trying to think about a lot with music is, well, what am I good at? What am I not good at? What can I reasonably improve upon? What can I design in the music so that it just like works, you know, from the skills that I have and the assets that I have. I think that we did this, like decided to be in a band and make music together and try and share it with the world because we don't have a choice, almost. Well, because if you can be happy another way, be happy another way, but if you are absolutely compelled to make this music and try to share it, basically if you're crazy enough to try and do this, then you should. That's, which is good because you don't have a lot of other options as being that crazy. It's hard to have another job. So, we're all kind of crazy. Well, <laughs> but that's for damn sure. I would also, I would also answer that question by saying, I mean, I think, especially now, especially with the new record, I think that we actually have something that's pretty, like, unique. We have um, a sound that's not always, you know, the same from song to song on a record all the time, and I think that's something that not a lot of bands have nowadays. I think that, you know, our songs are happy and we're usually like happy and like we have a lot of fun and we're about having fun and like that's not something that I see a lot these days. Um, so I think we're kind of at like a, a pretty cool moment right now. Um, 
I think that we focus on being genuine, and I think that there's a lot of hope in our music. You know, even the down times, even the hard moments, even the difficult things that we write about and that we sing about and that we share with our community and our fans and the people who listen to our music. I think that there's a lot of a lot of love, a lot of feeling of community, a lot of like this is as bad as this is, I'm glad I can share it with you and that you can be here with me and that makes it better. You know, that um, yeah, that that hope grows from that connection with with each other and with our fans and with sharing it. I like you, you know it, but you make those same eyes at boys that you don't like. And when you say you like me, 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 That's the record right there. Open it up. Oh. <laughs> wow. Trifle. Yeah. Trifle. And then you see, oh, oh, I'm getting I'm getting a signal from off camera. Sorry. Thanks, yeah, you, Alex. You hold Bob. one edge. You, you hold that edge. Good. Because what's fun is you get to see. See the carousel, the uh, Ferris wheel? It's not a carousel. <laughs> Like me, like a friend.